Huber's car collecting and more. How are you doing this morning? First in the live chat. And you know what that means. That means you got your entry into the July drawing. We got after today we got two more days Friday at the end of the Hall of Fame Friday live stream we will announce our winner your package was sent today thank you there Huber I'll be looking forward to that if not by the end of the week next week for sure in the month of August we will I will be looking for it thanks for the heads up appreciate that so let me get your entry into the July drawing Can I see the wheel? Um, yeah, hold on just a second. Let me get things finished up here and I'll show it real quick before we get rolling, okay? Let me get your entry in here. There are a lot of people entered into the July drawing, that is for sure. Let me get your entry in for today. Let me go ahead and save it. So we're good to go. Then I will pop the screen on my live stream for just a minute or so here. Let me uh, go ahead and shuffle the names up a little bit. All right. So here we go. You want to give me a drum roll there, Huber? Give me a drum roll. As soon as I see the drum roll in the chat, I'll go ahead and show you the wheel so far. Wish there was a way to just find out how many different names are on the wheel. Drum roll. <laughs> there you go. There we go. There is the, the wheel. It is very, very, very colorful. But if you look on there, you'll probably see your name on there a few times, I think. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I see at least eight entries in there for you there, Huber. Going through the, the list. There you go, there's the drum for the drum roll. <laughs> All right, so there is the names. There's so many on there, every time I add a new name on, the names get smaller and smaller. All right, so that is the, the wheel of names. So you can see that real quick there. Let me get back down here for our content at hand here. Hmm. I had to adjust this. There we go. All right, get back into our content at hand. So we do have three parts to the live stream today. We'll see what level we get to on the live stream. But either way, we will be opening up a top series two product. Believe it or not, I actually got to my Walmart yesterday and found a couple of uh, uh, blaster boxes and some hanger boxes. So we do have a little bit to mix it up with. I'm running out of... Uh, all I got is through Friday this month. And then uh, my, my better half has told me I cannot buy any new products. So I'll just have to lay low for at least a, the month of August with what I have on hand. But it will be fun nonetheless. So we do have, um, and if you do want a better description of what we got going on here, you can always look at the description of the video. Just in case you're wondering how things kind of work in the background mode. But, and I do put different hints uh, just down the road too. Um, I might be doing different things on the channel so you can earn different things or earn secret product items. 
but the only way you would know about what the the possible free giveaways might be would be reading the descriptions of my videos sometimes they'll be hidden somewhere within the description I do uh, like for example if you look at the description for today's video um, there is a little recap of my history lesson when I go over the the baseball year-end review for 1999 or 1998 because the 1999 baseball card set is uh, based on the 1998 baseball card year uh, you'll be right back no problem Huber I understand but um and then of course um, so that little recap is in there for the video in case you want to see in the description and then also in the description I talk about the family mail call package today I got a family mail call package and right off the top of my head I don't remember for sure what this is but it is a uh, Empire sports cards and collectibles I don't know if somebody just actually sent this to me or exactly I don't know for sure but we're gonna open this package up and we will see what I got from uh, Empire sports cards and collectibles in Clifton New Jersey so I don't know if anybody out there in the channels knows who or what or whom that might be, but we'll find out when I open up that package, I guess. <laughs> I don't it it came to my business address, so it's not an eBay purchase or uh some of the people in the channel do send set of stuff to my home address and some to my business address. When it comes to the business address, usually 95% of the time it's either somebody from YouTube or Facebook so that could be what that might be so we will do that and then after the family mail call we will open up a tops 2020 top series 2 either a hobby box a blaster box or a hanger box a blaster box or a hobby box and in the description of this video, I lay down my parameters as far as what type of product will be opened up at the end of the stream. So everybody will know. So right now we're at the lower tier. In case you're trying to figure out, um, the order of preference would be most likely on most of my streams lately, I'd probably open up a hobby box or a blaster box a hanger box or a blaster box and then the hobby box uh, would be opened if there are 11 or more people in the stream all right so we will see what takes place with that later we do have two minutes before i get into my uh the night the 1999 1998 year in baseball in review so again, we'll review baseball for them. And then when we get ready to open up the box and stuff, I'll move this stuff out of the way in preparation of that. And just a little side note here from my 2020 Red, White, and Blue Mystery Packs, Series 1 Summer Edition, for four days only, starting today, um, Thursday, Friday, and then my last opportunity for the blue Red, White, and Blue Mystery Packs at an even deeply discounted price of $25 for four days only plus five dollars flat rate shipping just a little side note there there is a Cal Ripken jr. and a Ken Griffey jr. rookie card slab card in the mix and they have not been picked yet I have 35 mystery packs remaining we will see if we can get any of those sold if not that would be fine but uh, after Saturday, when I finish the live stream on Saturday, they will be listed up on eBay, probably between $35 to $40. So hopefully you guys enjoy this last opportunity of getting a red, white, and blue mystery bag, mystery pack for $25 plus $5 flat shipping. So that gives it a total cost of thirty dollars for 29 baseball cards i don't see how you can't beat that deal anywhere especially since one of those cards in the mystery pack is a graded card and it could be a ken griffey jr or a cal ripken jr card so lo and behold 
that is our preview for today. It is 1030, so I'm going to get into our history lesson for just prior to opening up the Topps Major League Baseball cards 1999 complete set including series one and two and is this is a hobby box set so it is the nicer set of cards for that year I do have a few of these through this series that I'll be doing that are actual hobby box boxes nice having there Nolan Ryan on the front with Roger Clemens but let's get into the 1998 baseball year in review let me refresh my chat here so I know when somebody pops into the stream all right so 1998 in baseball all right headline events of the year mark mcguire sammy sosa ken griffey jr and greg vaughn all hit 30 home runs before the all-star break the first time four players had done so in the same season and engage in a historic chase for roger maris's single season record of 61 home runs while griffey with 56 and vaughn with 50 would fall short of the record both sosa with 66 and McGuire with 70 shattered Maris's record in an exciting late season chase that culminated in a final week that saw record setting performances by McGuire and Sosa, Tom Gordon, Dennis Eckersley, Trevor Hoffman, and Jason Kendall. The New York Yankees won a major league record of 125 games. 114 regular season games and 11 postseason games. All right, as far as the the champions of Major League Baseball that year, it, in the playoffs for the division series, it was the New York Yankees against the Texas Rangers, and the Yankees won three games to none, going on to the League Championship Series, and then. Uh, in the central and wild card position was the Cleveland Indians and the Boston Red Sox, and the Cleveland Indians went on to play the New York Yankees um, for the um, American League Championship, and the New York Yankees won four games to two to prog pro progress to the World Series. All right, and then for the National League, the Atlanta Braves against the Chicago Cubs, and the Atlanta Braves uh, went through to the next uh, to the League Championship Series, beating Chicago Cubs three games to nothing. And then, of course, the National League Central and Wild Card, San Diego Padres, were the Wild Cards against the Houston Astros, and the Padres did get that series three games to one and progress to the league championship series with the Atlanta Braves and the San Diego Padres did pro progress to the World Series four games to two against the Braves to face the New York Yankees but the New York Yankees swept the World Series four games to nothing against the San Diego Padres. The American League Championship Series MVP was David Wells. And then um, for the American League Division Series, and then the National League Championship Series, the MVP was Sterling Hitchcock, the National League Division Series. All-Star Game, July 7th at Coors Field, the American League won 13 to eight, and Roberto Alomar was the MVP. As far as awards and honors that year in 1990, from 1998 was the Baseball Hall of Fame. George Davis, Larry Doby, Lee McPhail, Bullet Rogan, and Don Sutton. The most valuable players was Juan Gonzalez with the Texas Rangers outfielder for the American League and Sammy Sosa with the Chicago Cubs of the National League. The Cy Young Award was Roger Clemens with the Toronto Blue Jays and Tom Glavin with the Atlanta Braves. The Rookie of the Year was Ben Greve with the Oakland Athletics, Outfielder, American League, and Kerry Wood with the Chicago Cubs, a pitcher for the National League. The Manager of the Year awards went to Joe Torre with the New York Yankees and Larry Dierker uh, with the Houston Astros. And then the Gold Glove Awards 
for 1998 were Rafael Pomero, first base, Roberto Alomar, second base, Robin Ventura, third base, Omar Vescal, shortstop. And then the outfielders were Bernie Williams, Jim Edmonds, and Ken Griffey Jr., Ivan Rodriguez, catcher for the American League, and Mike Mussina, pitcher for the American League. All right. So that takes care of that. And now the events of the year to wrap up our little history lesson here before we get into our baseball card set for 1999 Major League Baseball cards. So in January 5th, Don Sutton, a 324 game winner, is elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame on his fifth try. Sutton, who missed election by nine votes in 1997, is named on 81.6% of the ballots. Then we move on to February. February 2nd, the New York Yankees general manager, Bob Watson, announces his resignation. And he is replaced by 30-year-old Brian Cashman. Then we move on to March of 1998. March 3rd, Larry Doby, Lee McPhail, George Davis, and Bullet Joe Rogan are elected to the Hall of Fame by the Veterans Committee. March 31st, the Tampa Bay Devil Rays lose to the Detroit Tigers 11-6 in their first game ever. Pitcher Wilson Alvarez takes the loss for the Tampa Bay for Tampa Bay while third baseman Wade Boggs hit the first home run in team history and drives in three runs. The Arizona Diamondbacks drop a 9-2 decision to the Colorado Rockies in their first game ever. Andy Baines is tagged with the loss. Rookie Travis Lee and Karim Garcia hit home runs while Vinny Castilla drives in five runs for Colorado. Then also on March 31st, the New York Mets beat their division rivals, the Philadelphia Phillies, 1-0 in the longest scoreless opening day game in National League and the longest one in Major League Baseball since 1926 when the Washington Senators beat the Philadelphia Athletics 1-0 in 15 innings. Uh, the Mets backup catcher Alberto Castillo delivered a full count two out pinch hit single to right with the bases loaded off Philadelphia closer Ricky Batalicio to finish the game. In their National League debut, the Milwaukee Brewers fall 2-1 to one at Turner Field in Atlanta to the team that preceded them in Milwaukee, the Atlanta Braves. The Atlanta victory came in walk-off fashion following an errant throw to second base by catcher Mike Matheny, which allowed Gerald Williams to score from third base. Bob Wickman took the loss in relief, and the Brewers had played for 29 years in the American League, debuting in 1969 as the Seattle Pilots before moving to Milwaukee in 1970 and becoming the Brewers. Right, that takes care of our first quarter there. Next coming up is the month of April. On April Fool's Day, April the 1st, the expansion Tampa Bay Devil Rays win their first game in franchise history, beating the Tigers 11-8. Fred McGriff has four RBIs on three hits. On April 2nd, by hitting a home run in Colorado's 6-4 win over Arizona, Bank 1 ballpark, Rockies outfielder Ellis Burke sets a major league record by having homered in 33 different stadiums. April 2nd, also, the Milwaukee Brewers win for the first time as a National League team with an 8-6 win over the Atlanta Braves in 11 innings at Turner Field in Atlanta. Jeremy Burnett's Homers twice, including a tie-breaking grand slam off Atlanta reliever Brian Edmondson in the 11th inning. Mike Myers picked up the win in relief. April 5th, the Arizona Diamondbacks win their first game in franchise history 3-2 over the San Francisco Giants. Andy Beans gets the win for the 1-5 Diamondbacks. April 7th, in the first National League game in Milwaukee since September 22nd, 1965, the Brewers defeat the Montreal Expos 6-4 to 
at County Stadium. Starter Scott Carl gets the win, Doug Jones gets the save, and Jeremy Burnett and Jose Valentin both contribute with home runs. On April 10th, the Los Angeles Dodgers' Mike Piazza becomes the fifth National League player in history to hit grand slams in consecutive games by homering in a 7-2 win over the Houston Astros. Piazza also homered with the bags full while driving in six runs in the prior night's 7-2 win over Arizona. He would hit another on April 24th to tie the Major League record for slams in a month. On April 11th, the Boston Red Sox pitcher Pedro Martinez hurled a two-hit complete game shutout in his debut at Fenway Park, guiding the Boston Red Sox to a 5-0 victory over the visiting Seattle Mariners. Martinez struck out 12 batters and walked only two, while Jim Leritz uh, led the Red Sox offensive with a three-run home run in the third inning off Jamie Moyer. During the game, Dominican Republican flag showed in, showed up in the ballpark while chants of Pedro, Pedro were heard loud and clear in the stands. Besides, fans mounted the K placards to mark Pedro's strikeouts. Afterwards, everyone in the largely Latino Jamaica uh, plain section of Boston started watching the Red Sox and going to the games. April 13th, the Seattle Mariners' Ken Griffey Jr. slugs two home runs in a 6-5 loss to the Cleveland Indians. In doing so, he becomes the second youngest player in big league history to reach 300 homers for his career at 28 years and 143 days. Jimmy Fox at 27 years 328 days was younger all right pop in the chat nobody here that's fine may 3rd the seattle mariners dan wilson becomes just the seventh catcher in major league history to hit an inside the park grand slam as seattle defeats uh detroit 10 to 6 in its first in it's a first for the mariners and a first in the american leg since uh, Mike Greenwell uh, did it on September 1st, 1990. On May 6th, one of the finest pitching efforts ever, Chicago Cubs rookie right-hander Kerry Wood fans 20 Houston Astros in a 2 nothing one-hit victory to tie the Major League mark for strikeouts in a nine-inning game. The 20-year-old ties the record by Roger Clemens, who performed the feat twice. He also eclipses Bill Gullickson's symbol game rookie record of 18 strikeouts in 1980. The only Houston base runners come from an infield single by Ricky Gutierrez in the third inning and a hit batter, Wood, also becomes the second pitcher in baseball history to record a single game strikeout total equal to his age in 1936. 17 year old Bob Feller struck out 17 batters. Woods strikes out the first five batters of the game and seven in a row between the seventh and ninth, tying Jamie Moyer's club record for most consecutive strikeouts. Let me pop in the chat real quick. I see it moving. Sam Sports Chop is in the house. Cards in my car with Harposada. How are we doing, Eric? Robert. Hello, Don. Good morning. Hi, Huberts. Hi, Donald. Hey, Sam's. <laughs> Hi, cards in my car. Robert's raiding, uh, waving. Hope everyone is having a great morning. Yes, we are. It is awesome today. Nice, not so warm a day. It's, we finally got the nice weather up here in the Pacific Northwest, and I am enjoying it. Outside of my his, mishap in the garden on Sunday night. <laughs> I'll go into that a little bit later if anybody has any questions. But other than that, we are doing good. Let me 
get ready to rock and roll here. May 11th, in a 4-2 win over the over Arizona, Kerry Wood strikes out 13 Diamondbacks in seven innings. By doing so, Wood sets a major league record with 33 strikeouts over two consecutive games. May 13th, the Atlanta Braves sets an a a National League record by homering in their 25th straight game, a 10-2 win over the St. Louis Cardinals. This ties the Major League mark held by the 1941 Yankees and the 1994 Tigers. The streak will be stopped by the Cardinals the next day. On May 15th, in one of the biggest trades in recent years, the Dodgers send all-star catcher Mike Piazza and third baseman Todd Zeal to the Florida Marlins in exchange for outfielders Gary Sheffield and Jim Eisenreich. Catcher Charles Johnson, third baseman Bobby Bonilla, and pitcher Manuel Barrios. On May 22nd, the Mets will acquire Piazza from the Marlins in exchange for outfielder Preston Williams and pitcher Ed Yarnell and a minor league player. On May 17th, pitcher David Wells hurls the 15th perfect game in modern Major League Baseball history with a 4-0 win over the Minnesota Twins. Wells fans 11 batters in his masterpiece. Bernie Williams strokes three hits for New York, including a home run. Then on May 18th, the Oakland Athletics' Mike Blowers hits for the cycle and drives home four runs in a A's 14-0 win over the White Sox. Blowers becomes only the second player in franchise history to accomplish the feat. On May 19th, the Cardinals' Mark McGuire hits three home runs in a game for the second time this season, leading St. Louis to a 10-8 victory over the Philadelphia Phillies. He is only the 12th player in history to have a pair of three home run games in the same season. And McGuire drives in six of the Cardinals' runs as he reaches the 20 home run mark faster than any other player in history. On May 20th, the AAA Indianapolis Indians perform a feat possibly never before duplicated in professional baseball. In the fifth inning of a game against the Pawtucket Red Sox, Indianapolis players hit for a homer cycle. Pete Rose opens the inning with a solo home run. Jason Williams connects for a three-run shot. Uh, Glenn Murray slugs a grand slam, and Guillermo Garcia finishes the scoring with a two-run blast with the Indian and the Indians win the game 11 to 4. On May 25th, Cleveland's David Bell becomes the third player in Major League history to play against a team managed by his father. Bell's two-run double brings home the go-ahead run in the Indians' 7-4 win over Buddy Bell's Detroit Tigers. Bump Wills and Moises Alou are the only players to appear in games against their fathers, Maury Wills, Philippe Alou, respectively. And then to close up May, May 28th, with the Arizona le- with Arizona leading the Giants 8-6 to in the bottom of the ninth, with bases loaded, manager Buck Showalter orders reliever Greg Olson to intentionally walk Barry Bonds to bring home the Giants' seventh run. It is only the fourth bases loaded intentional walk in Major League history and the first since Bill Swish Nicholson on July 23rd, 1944. Pop in the chat. Greetings all in the chat. Waving hello. Sam Swear. How are the Mariners doing, Don? Uh, not too good there, Sam. We're one and four. And now California's two and three. Sam Sports Shop. Hi, Mrs. Blondahl. Left behind. Hey, Uncle Donald. How you doing there? Left behind. Sam Sports Shop. I left behind times. Hello. Oh, my my wife might not answer you there, Sam. She's probably at work. She probably just wanted to jump in quick and give us a, a greetings all in the chat. Waving hello. <laughs> I'm back, Sam. Hey, left behind. Hey, Robert. Hubers is in the house. Don't Okay, so we're good. Let me do a refresh on the chat. Hey, Hubers. Says left behind. So let's continue here. We got six watching. We're 
almost to the halfway mark of the baseball through the year in 1998 before we get into opening up the baseball guard center. June 6th, Hall of Fame second baseman Joe Morgan has his uniform number 8 retired by the Cincinnati Reds in a ceremony at Singery Field. June 7th, at Camden Yards, Hall of Famer Eddie Murray ha- has his uniform number 33 retired by the Baltimore Orioles. June 10th, Colorado Rock- Col- the Colorado Rockies' Dante Bichette becomes the first Rockies player to ever hit for the cycle and the first player to ever hit for the cycle in an interleague game. In the team's 9-8-10 inning victory over the Rangers. In June 10th, also, New York Yankees outfielder Tim Raines steals his 800th base of his career in the Yankees' 6-2 win over the Montreal Expos. His former team, besides Raines, becomes the fifth player in Major League Baseball history to reach the milestone. On June 15th, Sammy Sosa hits three home runs, helping the Chicago Cubs beat the Milwaukee Brewers 6-5. And then June 20th, the Cleveland Indians retire Bob Feller's uniform number 19 prior to the team's 5-3 loss to the Yankees. And uniquely, no major league games are scheduled today. All three 30 teams were off on June 20th, 1998. June 30th, the Chicago Cubs' Sammy Sosa hits his 33rd home run of the season in a game against the Arizona Diamondbacks. Sosa's 20th home run in the month of June is a new MLB record for most home runs in one month. Okay, let me... Check on something real quick here. Pop in the chat. Hey, Hubers. Hey, Hubers. Waving, waving. Hey, left behind. All right, let me check something real quick. I'm hearing a little bit of feedback. There, that one's good. That's probably where I'm hearing it. Sorry, I just got to adjust. There we go. Okay, now I shouldn't hear the feedback. It's ever so slight, but my ear was picking it up, and I'm like, what's going on there? What's going on there? All right. So then we move into the month of July. So July 5th, Roger Clemens of the Toronto Blue Jays records his 3,000th career hit. July 7th, the American League defeats the National League 13-8 to in the 69th All-Star Game at Coors Field, Denver, Colorado. Um, Baltimore's Roberto Alomar is named the game's MVP, going 3-for-4 with a home run, one RBI, one stolen base, and two runs scored. July 9th, Bud Selig is elected as the ninth Commissioner of Baseball by a vote of club owners. July 17th, Rafael Palmero hits his 300th career home run, helping the Baltimore Orioles beat the Anaheim Angels 4-1. And then on July 26, Trevor Hoffman's bid to set a major league record with 42 straight saves ended when the San Diego closer gave up a home run to Moises Alou on his first delivery in the ninth inning, tying the game. The Padres would end up beating Houston 5-4 in the 10th inning. Right. Refresh in the chat quick. Nothing's happened recently there. Still have six watching, six thumbs up, thummies up, thummies up, thummies up for me. <laughs> as I've been quoted as saying, thummies up, thummies up, thummies up for me. All right. So in the month of August, August 4th, the Toronto Blue Jays first baseman Carlos Delgado belted three home runs and drove in four runs in an 11-9 defeat to the Texas Rangers at Arlington Stadium. On August 9th, Dennis Martinez of the Atlanta Braves defeated, defeats the San Francisco Giants 7-5 for his 244th career victory to set a record for most wins by a Latin American pitcher, Juan Maracal. Uh, held the old mark. Chipper Jones backs Martinez's pitching with 
four hits and four RBIs. On August 10th at Qualcomm Stadium, the Wendelstents become the first father-son duo to umpire in the same major league game. Harry, umpiring his final major league season, serves as home plate umpire while his son Hunter, working in his first as a vacation substitute, serves as second base umpire in the Florida Marlins 3-2 victory over the San Diego Padres. On August the 13th, Harold Baines of the Baltimore Orioles becomes the all-time leader and runs batted in by a designated hitter when he drives in his 824th career RBI in a 7-4 win over the Cleveland Indians. Hal McRae was the previous record holder. On August 14th, Baltimore Orioles catcher Chris Hoyles becomes the ninth player and first catcher to hit two grand slams in a single game, doing so in a 15-3 win over the Cleveland Indians. On August 23rd, San Francisco Giants outfielder Barry Bonds hits his 400th career home run off Florida Marlins pitcher Kirk Ojala. A solo shot in the third inning of a 10-5 victory of the Giants at Pro Player Stadium. August 25th, the Toronto Blue Jays, Roger Clemens, strikes out in a 3-0 victory over the Kansas City Royals. He becomes the first pitcher ever to record three games of 18 or more strikeouts. Clemens allows only three hits and does not walk a batter. On August 31st, Oakland's Ricky Henderson scores his 2000th run of his career in the Athletics' 15-6 loss to Cleveland. He joins Ty Cobb, Hank Aaron, Babe Ruth, Pete Rose, and Willie Mays as the only players to reach the milestone. Then it looks like we had a real big busy September 1998. On September 1st, the St. Louis Cardinals first baseman Mark McGuire hits his 56th and 57th home runs of the season, breaking the National League record of 56 home runs by Hack Wilson in 1930. September 4th, the New York Yankees win their 100th game of the season, defeating the Chicago White Sox 11-6, reaching that mark five days later than the 1906 Cubs and the 1954 Cleveland Indians. September 5th, Mark McGuire becomes the third player in Major League history to reach 60 home runs as the St. Louis Cardinals beat the Cincinnati Reds 7-0. Additionally, McGuire joins Babe Ruth and Roger Maris with 60 home runs in a single season. Right, and then September 6th, the Atlanta Braves outfielder Andrew Jones hits his 50th career home run in a 4 0 win over the New York Mets. At age 21, Jones becomes only the third youngest player in Major League history to reach that level. Only Mel Ott and Tony Congliero did so at a younger age. Uh, September 7th, Ken Griffey Jr. hits his 50th home run of the season, joining Babe Ruth and Mark McGuire as the only players to hit 50 or more home runs in consecutive seasons. September 8th, Mark McGuire breaks Roger Maris's 37-year-old 61 home run record, uh, lining historic number 62 just over the wall in left field with two outs in the fourth inning. McGuire's solo shot off the Chicago Cubs, Steve Trichel. Among the shortest he would hit all year sets off a wild celebration in Bush Stadium. The Cubs' Sammy Sosa, who hit his 58th home run earlier in the game, is on the field to congratulate McGuire, creating an ionic image of the 1998 home run race. The sixth inning of the same game. The Cardinals' J.D. Drew makes his Major League debut pinch hitting for pitcher Ken Merker. Pop in the chat. Uncle Donald wanted to thank you very much 
for the signed 101 Donald Blomdahl rookie card. Also, I really appreciate the mantle brochure you put in with my package. Very awesome. Thanks very much. No, no problem there, Levine. I just thought I'd, since you're supporting my channel pretty good, uh, I just wanted to do that as a thank you. Um, there's different ways I sign the cards, so other people do have different versions of the one of ones, but I have to be creative on how to how to make them basically a one of one autograph in a unique fashion. And since they are designed by myself with anything extra I put on there, there you go. You're a be beholder of a one of one Donald Blomdahl rookie card. I don't know. I'm going to have to come out with an all-star card soon. I might have to come up with an all-star card soon like they're done with the 2020 series with the 85 throwbacks with the all-stars. Uh, I wonder if they'll put that format up when you can personalize and design your own card. I'd like to do the 2020 design. That would be awesome to create a card like that. I love, this. I love the card set this year, the way they're designed. Um, so, But thanks, they're left behind. I really do appreciate that. All right, on September 11th in 1998, the Florida Marlins lose to the Atlanta Braves 8-2 to to become the first World Series champion in history to lose 100 games the next season. All right, on September 15th, Ken Griffey Jr. hits homer number 52 and drives in the 1,000th run of his career in the Mariners' 12-7 win over the Twins. He becomes the fourth youngest player in history to reach the milestone after Mel Ott, Jimmy Fox, and Lou Gehrig. A day later, Griffey would collect his 20th stolen base of the season to become just the third player in Major League history to record at least 50 homers and 20 steals in the same season. Willie Mays and Brady Anderson are the others. On September 16th, Mike Piazza hits his 200th career home run, helping the New York Mets beat the Houston Astros 4-3. September 17th, Danny Neagle puts the Atlanta Braves pitching staff into the baseball record books as he limits the Arizona Diamondbacks to four hits and six innings for a 1-0 win. Neagle improves to 15-11, making the Braves the first major league team with five with 15-game five winners since 1930, the Washington Senators. As a result, Neagle joins Tom Glavin, Greg Maddox, John Schmoltz, and Kevin Millwood. All right, September 19th, Alex Rodriguez of the Seattle Mariners hits his 40th home run of the season and becomes the third player to join the 40 40 club. Jose Canseco and Barry Bonds are the others. September 20th, Cal Ripken Jr. of the Baltimore Orioles takes himself out of the lineup prior to the game with the New York Yankee. Yankees to end his major league record consecutive game streak at 2,632 games. The Orioles lose this historic game by a score of 5-4 and Ryan Miner, Ripken's replacement at third base, gets one hit in four at-bats. September 21st, Jason Kendall of the Pittsburgh Pirates collects his 26th stolen base of the season to set a new National League record for catchers. The previous mark was set by John Stearns of the New York Mets in 1978. September 23rd at Milwaukee County Stadium, Sammy Sosa hits his 4 64th and 65th home runs as the Chicago Cubs jump out to a 7-0 lead against the Milwaukee Brewers. Nevertheless, the Brewers erase the deficit by scoring eight runs in the final three innings. The last three coming when Brant Brown drops a Jeff Jenkins fly ball with two outs in the inning. The error allows Mark Loretta, Jeff Cirillo, and Jeremy Burnett's to score. The Cubs st stay tied with the San Francisco Giants for the wild card lead when they could have led by one game with three games left. Ironically, the error comes 90 years to the day of Merkel Bonner, which led to the Cubs ultimately winning the National League pennant and ultimately their last World Series title until 2016. 
On September 24th, Red Sox pitcher Tom Gordon records his 42nd win. Or his 42nd consecutive save of the year for a new major league mark as Boston defeats Baltimore 9-6. Rod Beck and Trevor Hoffman shared the old mark. September 25th, just hours after Sammy Sosa hits his league-leading 66th home run, pulling ahead of Mark Byer for the first time all season, McGuire hits his 66th in a game against the Montreal Expos. All right. Sam Sport Job. Gotta take my dog for a walk and be right back. No problem there, Sam. Cards in my car with R. Posada. See you later, Sam. <laughs> Let me refresh the chat here and continue on with our history lesson. All right. All right, September 26th, Eckersley gets a standing ovation from the Fenway Park crowd as he appears in his 1,071st game, breaking Hoyt Wilhelm's record for most appearances by a pitcher. The St. Louis Cardinals' Mark McGuire hits his 67th and 68th home run against the Montreal Expos, pulling two ahead of the Chicago Cubs' Sammy Sosa, who goes two for four but fails to homer against the Houston Astros. September 27th, the Cincinnati Reds defeat the Pittsburgh Pirates 4-1. to Cincinnati uses a pair of brothers in the infield, Brett Boone and his brother Aaron, and Barry Larkin at shortstop and his brother Stephen at first base. In the St. Louis Cardinals' final game of the season, Mark McGuire hits two home runs against the Mont. Montreal Expos for the second straight night, establishing a new MLB record with 70 home runs in a season. Sammy Sosa fails to hit a home run in the Cubs' 4-3 loss to the Houston Astros after leaving him at 66 homers. However, the Cubs' loss forces a one-game playoff with the San Francisco Giants for the National League Wild Card, giving Sosa one final chance to reach McGuire. In the San Diego Padres' final regular season game, left fielder Greg Vaughn hits his 50th home run of the season, a career high and a San Diego Padres record for home runs in a season. This makes the first time in Major League history that four players, Vaughn, 50, Griffey, 56, Sosa, 66, and McGuire at 70 hit at least 50 home runs in the same season. Also during this game, Trevor Hoffman records his 53rd save of the season, tying the National League record set by the Cubs, Randy Myers, in 1993. The New York Yankees win their seventh straight game, defeating the Tampa Bay Devil Rays, 8-3. The Yankees finished the season with an American League record 114 wins. In recording his first ever Major League win, a 2-1 decision over the Detroit Tigers at the Sky Dome, Roy Holiday of the Toronto Blue Jays, a week removed from his Major League debut, has what would have been the second no-hitter in Blue Jays history broken up by a Bobby Higginson home run with two outs in the ninth, the only hit he will allow. The no-hitter also would have been the third to be pitched on the final day of a regular season. Joining the combination of Vita Blue, Glenn Abbott, Paul Lindbald, and Raleigh Fingers in 1975 and Mike Witt's perfect game in 1984, the home run ball is caught, ironically, by former Blue Jay pitchers Dave Steve, himself a three-time victim of a no-hitter, being broken up with two outs in the ninth inning in his last start of the 1988 season. Steve lost a perfect game bid, then in 1989 lost a no-hitter. Finally, Steve pitched the Blue Jays' only no-hitter to date in 1990. All right, and then September 28th to end up the month. In a one-game playoff, the Chicago Cubs defeat the San Francisco Giants 5-3 to to secure the playoff spot in the National League. 
For the third game in a row, the Cubs' Sammy Sosa gets two hits, but no home runs, leaving him at 66 home runs for the season, four fewer than Mark McGuire, who pulled ahead of Sosa with five home runs in his final three games. All right, pop in the chat real quick. Nothing new, nothing new. All right, still got six watching, six thumbs up. Let's continue on for the month of October. All right. October 3rd, the Atlanta Braves defeat the Chicago Cubs in the National League Division Series. October 21st, the New York Yankees win the World Series, sweeping the San Diego Padres in four straight games. Yankees third baseman Scott Brocious is named the series MVP. New York and end the season with a major league record of 125 combined regular season and postseason wins. Tom Glavin of the Atlanta Braves wins his second National League Cy Young Award in an extremely close vote over the two San Diego Padres pitchers, Trevor Hoffman and Kevin Brown. Glavin, who receives 11 first place votes to Hoffman's 13, Brown receives the remaining eight becomes the first National League pitcher since the league instituted its four-vote system in 1970 to win the award despite receiving fewer first-place votes than other players. Glavin tallied 99 points, Hoffman 88, and Brown 76, with five points being awarded for each first-place vote, three for each second-place vote, and two for third and one for fourth. Another oddity is the fact that Hoffman, Brown, and Rod Beck, who did not receive a single point in the Cy Young Award voting, finished higher than Glavin in the MVP voting. Despite Glavin's Glavin's Braves finishing with the best record in the National League. On October 28th, President Bill Clinton signs the Curt Flood Act of 1998, named for former St. Louis Cardinals outfielder Curt Flood, who never played baseball again after refusing a trade to the Philadelphia Phillies and challenging the reserve clause. The act, passed by the 105th Congress and signed into law by President Clinton, revokes baseball's antitrust status, save for expansion, minor leagues, and franchise relocation a status that Major League Baseball had enjoyed for 75 years after the Supreme Court had ruled that baseball was eligible for status under interstate commerce. In the month of November, right left behind October is a busy month. Yes, it was a historic and very busy month indeed. November 9th, it is revealed that Hall of Fame pitcher Jim Catfish Hunter is suffering from anthrotic lateral sclerosis, the progressive, ultimately fatal neurological condition, better known as Lou Gehrig's disease. Hunter would be Hunter would die 10 months later from the disease at the age of 53. November 30th, the Arizona Diamondbacks signed free agent pitcher Randy Johnson to a four-year contract worth approximately $50 million. And then in December to end the year, December 12th, the Los Angeles Dodgers set the salary bar higher by signing free agent pitcher Kevin Brown to a seven-year $105 million contract the largest in the majors. As far as me, uh, baseball movies from that year, they did make the Babe Ruth TV uh, series, uh, the Basketball, Life and Times of the Life and Times of Hank Greenberg, and Major League Back to the Miners. So that is our recap of the 1998 year in baseball for the prelude going into our tops major league baseball cards complete set which we will do next and then after that we will have the um, the family mail call package from i believe it might be somebody on my facebook that's what i'm thinking but um and i don't remember 
anything about this one. <laughs> That's what's puzzling me. I've seen this come in the mail. I'm like, Empire Sports Cards and Collectibles. I'm confused. But maybe when I go through the whatever might be in the package here, I might figure things out. We'll, we'll do that after the baseball card set. And this is just a, a real quick update here. I am going one last round, four more days only. So I'm offering a special on my red, white, and blue mystery packs. Just for uh, four days only till the 1st of August, which will be the first Saturday of August. We will close out my red, white, and blue mystery packs. And after that, I will be listing the remainders up on eBay for a short time to see if I can get some nibbles there. And if not, I'll just move on and try something different in my mystery pack products in the future. If you guys want to give me any suggestions for how maybe the mystery packs would be more apt to do better, give me some pointers and heads up. I don't mind the feedback. I want to do and produce and give uh, what my community that does watch me want. So just so you do know, there are plenty. There, I sold 16 packs, so we've got... Uh, 35 packs left and you can see all the different spaces that are available here okay so if you guys have any questions just let me know if you would want a mystery pack and i can go ahead and take care of that for you but without further ado i am going to get ready to bust open we're going to bust open this baseball card set all right Major League Baseball Cards 1999 complete set. Includes Series 1 and 2. Of course, it has Roger Clemens in here, Nolan Ryan in here. It is a 462 card baseball set. Um, on the back of the box here, they do have a checklist. If you want, uh, actually, I'll take the plastic off and then I'll let, you'll be able to see it a little bit better. But let's, uh, for now, i got to go ahead and score this plastic here. Go ahead and rip off the plastic and then I'll show you the back. So that way if you want to go back and look at the checklist, you can do that. You can freeze frame. You can freeze frame it. But here, let me see if I can put this in the camera's view here without hitting too much here. So I will just hold this as best I can and kind of show you the checklist here. There's your little symbology on there for uh, season highlight cards, uh, prospect cards, draft pick cards, league leader cards, um, World Series cards, strikeout kings. This is when they started adding the different subsets within the base set. And all tops. That could be a new set that they started back here in the day. But let's go ahead and do this. I don't know if there's... Oh, yeah, it does. It says contains one of 70 home run record and one of 66 home run parade because of all the home runs that I think were being hit this year. Those, I guess, are included in here. I don't know where we'll find them. Probably within the set when I go through it. But there we have it. And I don't think this set, from what I remember... Ha, should have much should not have much stickage does not look like it does have much stickage so without further ado I'm going to uh, see if I can grab one of these stacks here as soon as I get a first group out oh that's right these ones do have the gold borders kind of like uh, Oops. Careful there, Blomdong. Let's not destroy any of these cards. They're packed, fresh, beautiful cards in this set. Let me get these right here. And yeah, I don't feel... I don't think there's any stickage in here. Let me set the box aside off to the side here. So as we go through these cards, I can go... I can start loading them up into the box. There we go. I think I can do that right there. Let me get these 
and two oh, a few stacks here lay them off in the in the back here real quick so we can go through this set in normal fashion that's pretty okay I see looks like some of the inserts are gonna be near the end here which that'll be kind of nice doing some of the insert cards at the very end of this so we will go through this set and see what we can find here all right so hopefully you guys are ready for this love love scene sets of cards thanks robert appreciate that so and then of course again after this we will get into the family mail call and we will open up a product today like i said 2020 top series 2 a hanger box blaster box or a hobby box okay but without further ado let's go ahead i think if i remember right i think i can see yeah i can see most of this the stats and the information here so let's just start going through um, these cards. So we got Eddie Talbanasi with the Reds. Um, oh, that one stuck. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I like that one. These would be like short prints. <laughs> Brian Hunter. Brian, and look, he's got the the criminal. He's got the criminal. The criminal. He's looking like a criminal stealing the bases. <laughs> Brian Hunter with the Detroit Tigers. Uh, Mark McGuire with the St. Louis Cardinals. Um, Ray Durham with the White Sox. Some minor stickage, but nothing major, really. Um, Ricky Le Ledy with the Yankees. Or Lead. Led. <laughs> um, Matt Walbeck with the Angels. Um, ever so slight Brett Boone with the Reds um, Jeff Abbott with the White Sox uh, David Cohn alright David Cohn with the Yankees let's see if I just do a there we go not much stickage um, Ken Hill with the Angels Uh, Jeff Conine with the Royals. Here we go. We got some season highlight cards here. Uh, David Wells pitches a perfect game. All right, so it looks like they'll be interspersed some. Uh, Gary Sheffield with the Dodgers. Um, Ramiro Mendoza with the Yankees. Uh, season highlights. Kerry Wood strikes out 20 in a game. All right, Jorge Posada. Jorge Posada with the New York Yankees. There you go, Robert. A Posada for you. Um, uh, Bill, Sim Bill Simmons, rookie card. I like how they put the, the rookie symbol on these, these cards. They started do start doing it on some of these. Uh, season highlights, Roger Clements, 3,000th strikeout. Uh, Brian Meadows with the Marlins uh, Steve Tarshell with the Cubs uh, season highlights Sammy Sosa hits 20 home runs in June all right Mark Loretta with the Brewers Roy Holiday with uh, the Blue Jays uh, season highlights Mark McGuire most home runs in three in a three-year span uh, Matt Anderson with the Tigers Pretty nice looking design with the with the, the gold colored borders of that nature. Um, Bobby Bobby How Howry rookie card. Uh, Manny Ramirez with the Indians. Uh, Levon Hernandez with the Marlins. Uh, David Ortiz with the Twins. Uh, Matt Williams with the Diamondbacks. Uh, Will Clark. Thought maybe I might add two there for a second. Will Clark with the Cubs. 
Um, Juan Encarnacion with the Tigers. Uh, Larry Sutton with the Royals. All right, let me readjust this here. I think I'll do it off this way a little bit more. Uh, Andy Pettis with the Yankees. Um, there we go. I like these. Uh, Bobby Smith, Gold Cup card for the Tampa Bay Devil Rays. Uh, Rusty Greer with the Rangers. Uh, Mickey Morandi with the Cubs. Uh, Chris Carpenter with the Blue Jays. Uh, Jim Laritz with the Padres. Uh, Jerry DePoto. Jerry DePoto. Anybody know who Jerry, De Jerry DePoto is? Believe it or not, he is the general manager of the Seattle Mariners. One of the younger managers. Um, Miguel Cairo, Gold Cup card for the Tampa Bay Devil Rays. Um, Derek Jeter with the New York Yankees. Derek Jeter, this is, uh, I believe, a fourth-year card. Yep, fourth-year card for Derek Jeter. New Hall of Famer this year. Jeff Cirillo with the Brewers. Um, Ron Coomer with the Twins. Roger Clemens with the Blue Jays. Um, Jose Hernandez with the Cubs. Uh, Fernando Vino with the Brewers. And Nolan Ryan with the Texas Rangers. Awesome looking Ryan card there. Okay. We got Dave Nilsson with the Brewers. Oh, they tricked me on that one. Two, one stuck together. Marquis Grissom with the Brewers. All right. Uh, Scott Erickson with the Orioles. Um, Roger Cedeno with the Dodgers. Um, Marty Cordova with the Twins. Uh, Dan Wilson with the Seattle Mariners. All right. Uh, Steve Woodward with the Brewers. Uh, Scott Spezio with the Athletics. Then we've got Greg Vaughn with the Padres. Vinny Castillo with the Rockies. All right, then we've got uh, Jeff Shaw with the Dodgers. Pedro Martinez with the Red Sox. There we go. We got uh, Mark Kotze, Gold Cup card for the Marlins. Fernando Tatis, daddy. Fernando Tatis, daddy. That's Fernando Tatis Jr.'s daddy. <laughs> Boom, right behind each other. There we go. Vladimir Guerrero Sr. Vladimir Guerrero Sr. Jeff Bagwell. That is cool. Bunch of Hall of Fame, couple of Hall of Famers back to back here. Alright, and then we got Jim Parque with the White Sox. Uh, Edgardo Alfonso with the Mets. Uh, Damian Eastley with the Tigers. Uh, Chili Davis with the Yankees. Um, Mike Caruso with the White Sox Gold Cup card. Uh, Brett Tomko with the Cincinnati Reds and uh, Omar Dahl with the Arizona Diamondbacks. All right, put these. Oh, Huber's cards and more. What is your favorite hymn? My favorite hymn, Huber, is Day by Day. Since you're asking, I can think of that one real quick. Day by day. I'm not going to sing it for you, though. 
<laughs> I don't do good with solos. I can I love singing and doing congregational singing, but I I'm not a solo person. But don't hold me to that. I might be doing some a uh, uh, a type of series coming up in the near future. We'll see what happens with that. It might might not be this year. It'll probably be next year after I finish my Bible reading through the year and uh in my channel. Um, I might come up with a different thing to do next year. Uh, it might not be a daily posting, but it might be once a week posting. Uh, Dave DeLucci with the Diamondbacks. Um, Daryl Strawberry with the Yankees. Uh, Mike Blowers with the Athletics. Um, Eric Davis with the Orioles. Sure, I get those loosened up just a little bit. Derek Lee with the Marlins. Um, Matt Morris with the Cardinals. Uh, Omar Vizquel with the Indians. Uh, Detroit Tigers. Eric er, Divi Cruz with the Tigers. Uh, Greg Olson with the Diamondbacks. Uh, Jason Dixon with the Angels. Uh, Carl Everett with the Astros. Um, Tony Saunders with the Devil Rays uh, Sean Bergman with the Astros uh, Ryan Jackson with the Marlins uh, Eric Chavez with the Athletics uh, Andy Fox with the Diamondbacks Chad Curtis with the Yankees Mike Hampton with the Astros Scott Servius he's the manager for the Seattle Mariners, but this is when he was a catcher for the Chicago Cubs. Justin Thompson with the Tigers. Uh, Wilson Alvarez with the Devil Rays. Uh, Jeremy Wright with the Rockies. Uh, Mike Cameron with the White Sox. Tom Evans with the Blue Jays. Uh, F.P. Santangelo with the Expos. Uh, Scott Bruchus with the Yankees. Scott uh, Scott Elarton with the Astros, uh, Gabe Alvarez with the Tigers, Dimitri Young with the Reds, and Saint, uh, Alan Baines with the St. Louis Cardinals. Okay. Set those off to the side there. Get the next portion here. And Donald's him covers and more. I don't know about that, Huber. Are you going to join me? We'd have to go on uh, StreamYard and we'd, we'd have to sing together because, I, 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 like I said, I don't do solos. <laughs> but thanks for that. <laughs> Donald, Donald's new singing channel. Top 40 in the United States. <laughs> that would be the day. Uh, Ron Gant with the Cardinals. Uh, Chuck Knobloch with the Yankees. Hal Morris with the Royals. Chan Ho Park with the Dodgers. Uh, Maglio Ordonez, Gold Cup card for the White Sox. Um, Miguel Tejada with the Athletics. Uh, Billy Wagner with the Astros. Uh, self, or self, Seth Grishner with the Tigers. Uh, Jared Washburn with the Angels. Roberto Kelly with the Rangers. Derek Bell with the Astros. Uh, Eli Marrero with the Cardinals. Brad Ratke with the Twins. Uh, Todd Dunwoody with the Marlins. Uh, Johnny Thompson with the Rockies. Paul Konerko with the Cincinnati Reds. Uh, Chris Steins with the Reds. Uh, Matt Stairs with the Athletics. Uh, Hideki Arabu with the Yankees. Uh, Garrett Anderson with the Angels. Uh, Matt Franco with the Mets. Uh, Roberto Hernandez with the Devil Rays. Daryl Dreifert with the Dodgers. Uh, Lance Johnson with the Chicago Cubs. Kenny Lofton with the Cleveland Indians. Uh, Jeff Reed with the Colorado Rockies. 
John Jaha with the Brewers. Uh, Travis Lee with the Diamondbacks. Uh, I could join you laugh out loud. <laughs> I I want you to do another stream yard. I would love to join you. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. One of these days, I, I I might surprise people, but you'll have to make sure you get my alerts. Sorry about that. Must have got a little bit of sticky, John. Cal Eldreds with the Milwaukee Brewers. Brewers there. Alex Gonzalez with the Toronto Blue Jays. Oh, my word. We got check Series 1 checklist. Okay, gives you a little sneak peek. Okay, so there's Lords of the Diamond. Oh, those are the insert cards. That's right. Lords of the Diamond, the new breed. I like where they give you the checklist. They tell you what the insert sets are. Uh, Pitcher Perfect. Power Brokers, Hall of Fame, Autograph Card, Autograph Cards. Wow, you can get Autograph Card back in 1999. Um, Nolan Ryan, Regular Reprints. Oh, I see. They had for Series 1 and Series 2. 1, 3, 5. The odd numbers were in Series 1 probably. Oh, the Regular Reprints and then the Finest replant, Reprints were in uh, the even numbers. That's interesting. All right. Mariano Rivera with the Yankees. Um, Mike Lansing with the Colorado Rockies. Another checklist. Cards number 1 through 186. They probably only had three checklists, I think, in this set. Because it is a smaller set. Uh, Eric Karros with the Los Angeles Dodgers. Uh, Wade Boggs with the Tampa Bay Devil Rays. Oh, I like the style here for these uh, prospect cards. Chris Inux with the Athletics. Bruce Chen with the Braves. And Ryan Anderson with the Seattle Mariners. All right. Oh, I like that one. That would be another short print in today's venues. Uh, Todd Helton with the Colorado Rockies Gold Cup card. That is awesome looking. Oh, I like some of these design they threw back in the day too. Tom Candiati with the Athletics. Uh, there's another top prospect a rookie card for uh, Chuck Abbott and then Brent Butler with the Cardinals and Danny Klassen with the Arizona Diamondbacks. All right, Charles Johnson with the Dodgers. Uh, Justin Bogman with the Angels. Another prospect card here. Mike Lincoln with the Minnesota Twins. Octavio Dotel with the, uh, looks like the New York Mets. And Brad Penny with the Arizona Diamondbacks. All right. Jose Lima with the Astros. Um, Richard Hildago with the Astros. And another prospect card. Uh, Pat Klein with the Cubs, Ramon Hernandez with the a Athletics, and Jason Wirth with the Baltimore Orioles. Okay, let me set these over in the box here off to the side. What I usually do is later on in the day today, I'll put this set in order because they do not come in order when you open up a box. Uh, remember coffee and jam with Chris. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I do like coffee and jam with Chris's channel. Um, I do go to her channel still, but she's done those, those reaction videos. I think she found her niche. She's really, she's got almost 7,000 subscribers now. I remember last year when I first started following her channel, uh, when she was, she, she made her 1,000 subscribers in her very first month of being a YouTube person and I was like whoa she's gonna go somewhere and it took her a little while a little bit of grinding a little bit of slowness and then boom all of a sudden she found her niche in those reaction videos uh, kind of like reacting to a video that she shows on her screen with like Streamlabs and stuff and those people get too fancy for me I'm not fan I'm not I'm not that young and tech tech worthy uh, but uh, 
let's continue on with where we are here i think it's just me and you hoovers i think everybody else left unless they're just lurking about probably left behind might be just watching in the background david wells with the yankees and then uh david hollands with the angels Tough to see some of those words with the with the dirt in the background. Prospects is Michael Barrett with the Expos, Ben Davis, and Robert Fick with the Detroit Tigers. Who's Ben Davis with? Oh, the San Diego Padres. He's got his helmet on backwards. I couldn't read the emblem. <laughs> Kerry Wood with the Cubs, Gold Cup card. Uh, Ramon Martinez with the Dodgers. And another prospect card, rookie card for Peter Bergeron with the Expos. Jeremy Giambi with the Kansas City Royals. And George Lombard with the Atlanta Braves. All right. Continuing on through this set. Uh, Jose Visciano. I know. I figured you were lurking in the background there, Robert. Um, with the Los Angeles Dodgers. Uh, Pat Hentgen with the... Toronto Blue Jays. Prospect card, Lance Berkman with the Astros. Mike Frank, rookie card for the Reds. And Gabe Kapler with the Detroit Tigers. All right. Uh, Brant Brown with the Cubs. Uh, Randy Wynn with the De Devil Rays. Prospect card, Alex Escobar with the New York Mets, rookie card. Ricky Ledge with the Yankees. Uh, Mike Stoner with the Arizona Diamondbacks. All right, Todd Jones with the Tigers. Um, Daryl Hamilton with the Rockies. There we go, draft pick cards, rookie cards for both uh, Adam Brown and who Freeman. Oh, Chu, oh, <laughs> Adam Brown and Chu Freeman. I forgot the C's in the circle, ah, don't mind me. <laughs> with the Colorado Rockies, all right. That is a cool looking design of a card, that's for sure. It must be an outfield where it's 387 at that mark. <laughs> uh, Rod Beck with the Cubs. Uh, Brian Anderson with the Diamondbacks. Got another draft pick card here. Um, rookie cards for uh, Chris, Chris Jones with the San Francisco Giants and Jeff Urban with the San Francisco Giants. Both their rookie cards. All right, uh, Gary Desarcini, Desarcini, Desarcina with the Angels. I'm sure I got it wrong. Either way, I tried to pronounce it. Uh, Chuck Finley with the Anaheim Angels. Uh, draft pick card for uh, Arturo McDowell with the Giants and Tony Torcado with the Giants. All right, Ishmael Valdez with the Dodgers. Mark Grudzelenek with the Dodgers. Um, draft pick cards for Josh McKinley with the Expos and Jason Tyner with the New York Mets. And we've got Troy Percival with the Angels. Uh, Kerry Lickenberg, rookie card for the Atlanta Braves. Draft pick cards again. Matt Berg, rookie card for the Kansas City Royals. And Seth Etherin with the California Angels, both their rookie cards. Um, Albert Bell with the White Sox. Adrian Beltre with the Dodgers. Uh, another draft pick card here. De uh, a Mammon Tucker. With the Orioles and Rick Elder with the Orioles rookie cards. Uh, Jim Edmonds with the Anaheim Angels and Bernard Gilkey with the Diamondbacks and a, another draft pick card, J.M. Gold with the Milwaukee Brewers and Ryan Mills with the Minnesota Twins. Both rookie cards. All right. I didn't really have them even, but moving on to our third, oops, our third stack here. It, does, it is a little bit high, so I'll just take a 
nice little chunk off here maybe break it off into two two stacks here but as we start and continue going through this set here got three watching that's okay um, Rick Aguilera with the Minnesota Twins um, Kevin Millwood with the Atlanta Braves um, Ben Grieve Gold Cup card for the Athletics uh, John Valentin with the Red Sox there we go Mike Piazza with the New York Mets um, Butch Husky with the New York Mets Jeff Brantley with the Cardinals um, Nomar Garcia Parra with the Red Sox um, Jason Wright with the Indians uh, Terry Steinbeck with the Twins uh, Barry Bonds with the Giants Ken Griffey Jr. Boom! Got my Ken Griffey Jr. That's a nice little action shot for Ken Griffey Jr. Um, Jason McDonald with the Athletics. Uh, Moises Alou with the Houston Astros. Rondell White with the Expos. Uh, Sean Green with the Toronto Blue Jays. Uh, Sean Casey with the Cincinnati Reds. Um, Rick Reed with the New York Mets. Uh, Dean Palmer with the Kansas City Royals. Carlos Delgado with the Toronto Blue Jays. Um, Brady Anderson with the Royals. Matt Lawton with the Twins. And Carlos Perez with the Dodgers. Okay. On to our next section here. I like seeing these old cards from the late 1990s. I never saw when I stopped collecting. Nice Griffey from the Seattle Murders. Thanks for left behind. That is cool. Seeing some of the, the players you like and cards you've never seen before. Um, Bob Wickman with the Brewers. Uh, Ryan Christensen with the Athletics. Um, Troy Gloss with the Angels. There we go. Where's Kevin's car collecting and more? Tony Gwynn with the San Diego Padres. Uh, Paul Sorrento with the Devil Rays. Uh, Jeff Blouser with the Cubs. Uh, Andy Galarga with the Atlanta Braves. Uh, Shannon Stewart with the Blue Jays. Oops. John Schmoltz, the Hall of Famer with the Atlanta Braves. Uh, Mike Musina with the Baltimore Orioles. Juan Gomez with the Rangers. Uh, Dante Bichette, Bo Bichette's dad with the Rockies. Um, Tom Goodwin with the Rangers. Uh, John Flaherty with the Devil Rays. Um, Larry Walker, new Hall of Famer with the Colorado Rockies. Uh, Bobby Jones with the Mets. Latroy Hawkins with the Twins. Uh, Chipper Jones with the Atlanta Braves. Chipper Jones. Danny Neagle. Danny Neagle with the Atlanta Braves. Fred McGriff with the Tev Tampa Bay Devil Rays. Barry Larkin with the Cincinnati Reds. Uh, Brett Saberhagen with the Red Sox. Um, Doug Glanville with the Phillies. Uh, David Justice with the Indians. Let's not put these upside down every other card. That's pain in the neck. Rob Nen with the Giants. San, uh, Ray Sanchez with the Giants. Uh, Bobby Higginson with the Tigers. And Dave Burba with the Cleveland Indians. Okay, grab another section here. And we'll put this back in the box. 
Uh, Ray Langford with the Cardinals. Uh, Ivan Rodriguez, Bud Rodriguez with the Rangers. Jeff Vicero with the Seattle Mariners. Um, Pat Mears with the Minnesota Twins. Frank Thomas, the Big Hurt with the White Sox. Uh, Brian Johnson with the Giants. Uh, Quinton McCracken with the Devil Rays. Jim Thome with the Indians. Um, Brad Fulmer with the Expos. Jason, Jason Schmidt with the Pirates. Paul O'Neill with the Yankees. Um, Scott, Scott Hatberg with the Red Sox. Scott Rowland with the Phillies. Uh, Jeremy Burnett's with the Brewers. Uh, BJ Serhoff with the Orioles. Uh, Jose Canseco with the Blue Jays. Um, Craig Biggio with the Astros. Quilivio, Quilivio, Quilvio Veras with the Padres. Uh, Bill Taylor with the Athletics. Uh, Ellis Burks with the Giants. Um, John Olrood with the Mets. Tony Fernandez with the Blue Jays. Jose Cruz Jr. with the Blue Jays. Uh, Cleveland Indians, Bartolo Colon. What year card is this for him? Uh, one, two, three, four. Four, four year, fourth year card. Uh, Johnny Damon with the Royals. And Wally Joyner with the San Diego Padres. All right, that stack there is in the books now. Put it off to the side here. this set out and take a couple different whacks at it <laughs> all right a little squeaky action there doesn't hurt anybody right <laughs> uh, Russ Davis with the Seattle Mariners Todd Walker with the twins um, Mark Grace with the Cubs Jay Bell with the Diamondbacks uh, Will Clark with the Rangers. Uh, Raul Mondesai with the Dodgers. Chris Gomez with the Padres. Jeff King with the Royals. Cliff Floyd with the Marlins. Uh, Darren Lewis with the, with the Red Sox. Uh, Mike Lieberthal with the Phillies. Uh, Orlando Hernandez with the Met or the Yankees. Uh, Masato Yoshi with the Mets. Eric Milton with the Twins. Uh, Jason Giambi with the Athletics. Um, Jimmy Haynes with the Athletics. Uh, Dave Martinez with the Devil Rays. Um, Tino Martinez with the Yankees. Um, Jose Valentin with the Brewers. Um, Aaron Seeley with the Rangers. Alex Rodriguez, a rod for the Seattle Mariners. This is fifth year card for a rod. Um, Armando Benitez with the Orioles. Uh, Kenny Rogers with the Athletics. Um, Henry Rodriguez with the Cubs. David Segui with the Seattle Mariners. Nifi Perez with the Rockies. Um, Bernie Williams with the Yankees. And Daryl Kyle with the Rockies. Cut this one in about half and then grab the last stack. And then we'll get into the last stack of the set. 
right. Uh, Lee Stevens with the Rangers. Um, Shane Reynolds with the Astros. Brian Giles with the Indians. Uh, Woody Williams with the Blue Jays. Uh, Kurt Schilling with the Phillies. Greg Maddox with the Braves. A.J. Hinch with the Oakland Athletics Gold Cup card. Uh, Ryan Kelsko with the Braves. Edgar Martinez for the Seattle Mariners. J.T. Snow Jr. with the Giants. All right. Then we've got Sandy Alomar with the Indians. Mike Burdick with the Orioles. Uh, Darren Fletcher with the Blue Jays. Oops. Uh, Jay Buner with the Seattle Mariners. J uh, Jeremy Gonzalez with the Cubs. Sammy Sosa with the Cubs. Javier Valentin with the Twins. Then we've got uh, Walt Weiss with the Braves. Uh, Bob Abreu with the Philadelphia Phillies. We got uh, Al Leiter with the Mets. Uh, Darren Erstad with the Angels. John Wetland with the Rangers. Um, Tim Salmon with the Angels. And Jason Kendall with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Alright, last part of this stack, and then we'll move into the final bundle. Looks like it has some of those inset inserts, that's what I call them. Little subsets within the set, not the separate subsets. <laughs> not to confuse you. Eric Young with the Dodgers. I think these ones are well rounded, I think, here. Um, Jeff Kent with the Giants. Gerald Williams with the Braves. Um, Aramis Ramirez with the Padres. Or the Pirates. Sorry, not the Padres. Um, Kevin Young with the Pirates. Uh, Darren Brigg with the Red Sox. Jeff Montgomery with the Royals. Uh, Andy Beans with the Diamondbacks. Andrew Jones with the, the Atlanta Braves. Uh, Francisco Cordova with the Pirates. Um, Cal Ripken Jr. for the Baltimore Orioles. Ray Ordonez with the Mets. Uh, Jose Guillen with the Pirates. Tony Clark with the Tigers. Uh, Avi Lopez with the Braves. Uh, Charlie Hayes with the Giants. Tom Glavin with the Braves. Uh, Mo Vaughn with the Red Sox. Ricardo Rincon with the Pirates. And Andy Ashby with the Padres. Alright, the rest of that stack is now in the books. Put it in the box off to the side here. Any place to post about three four we're, yeah we're about three fourths of the way down here. Last stack. Okay. These are and then I'll brush off my break table here. We're getting a lot of dustage here from the set. First time out of the box. Trevor Hoffman with the Padres. Um, Chris Whitger with the Expos. Travis Fryman with the Indians. Uh, Desi Relaford with the Phillies. Tony Batista with the Diamondbacks. Jesus Sanchez Gold Cup card for the Marlins. Rice Clayton with the Rangers. Troy O'Leary with the Red Sox. Uh, Wilton Guerrero with the Expos. Uh, Richie Sexton with the Indians. Uh, Pokey Reese with the Reds. Um, 
Derek Gibson with the Rockies. Almost has that Lewis Robert look to him. Um, Kirk Reuter with the Giants. Um, Carl Pavano with the Expos. Uh, Pedro Astacio with the Rockies. Uh, Mike Jackson with the Indians. Uh, Sean Estes with the Giants. Now when I don't turn them over, they stay over that way for a while. Ruben Rivera with the Padres. Uh, Tim Wakefield with the Red Sox. Watch this. I'll turn it and they'll go back the other way. <laughs> Ozzy Gian with the Braves. Dwight Gooden with the Indians. Told you. <laughs> Alex Gonzalez with the Marlins. Frank McLemore with the Rangers. Uh, Reggie Jefferson with the Red Sox. Uh, Preston Wilson with the Marlins. Carlos Guillen with the Seattle Mariners. All right, yes, so uh, next Wednesday we will be getting into the 2000 era cards. Getting into the 2000 era cards next next week so these are definitely the late 90s this is 1999 as late as we can get there left behind so next week will be 2000 uh, Tom Gordon D Gordon's dad for the Boston Red Sox Rico Brogna with the Phillies uh, Joe Fontenot with the Marlins Jamie Moyer with the Seattle Mariners Al Martin with the Pirates. Um, huh. <laughs> uh, Pat Harnish with the Reds. Uh, Hideo Nomo with the New York Mets. This is his first year with the Mets. Fifth year in Major League Baseball. Uh, Todd Zeal with the Rangers. Uh, Ooh. Aguith Urbina with the Expos. John Burkett with the Rangers. Uh, Shane Monahan with the Seattle Mariners. <laughs> you love these breaks. These are cool breaks. You get to see the whole set of baseball cards. Don't worry, eventually we'll be getting back up to the larger sets too, so it'll take a little bit longer. Uh, Bill Mueller with the San Francisco Giants. Rick Helling with the Texas Rangers. Uh, Tony Womack with the Pirates. Uh, Dave Malicki with the Dodgers. Dustin Hermanson with the Expos. Uh, Juan Guzman with the Baltimore Orioles. Dennis Reyes with the Cincinnati Reds. Um, Ryan Miner with the Baltimore Orioles. Charles Nagy with the Cleveland Indians. Uh, Kevin Tapani with the Chicago Cubs. Uh, Brian McRae with the New York Mets. Uh, Calvin Pickering with the Royals. Ryan McGuire with the Expos. John Franco with the Mets. And Ricky Henderson with the New York Mets. Into our next section here. I think this will be put us halfway through this stack. And then we will go put these in the box. Uh, Brian Jordan with the Braves. Uh, Delino De Shields with the Orioles. Luis Gonzalez with the Diamondbacks. Jose Offerman with the Boston Red Sox. Edgar Renteria with the Cardinals. Roger Clemens with the Yankees. Rafael Palmero with the Rangers. Uh, Brad Os Osmus with the Tigers. Steve Finley with the Diamondbacks. There's a prospect card there. Haven't seen one of those in a while. Rookie card, Jose Fernandez with the Expos. Jeff Liefer. And with the White Sox. And Chris Truby. Chris Truby. Who's Chris Truby with? Oh, the Houston Astros. There we go. Uh, more prospect cards. Adam Kennedy with the Cardinals. Mickey Lopez, rookie card for the Milwaukee Brewers. And Jackie 
Rex Road with the Arizona Diamondbacks. Another prospect card here. Cabe, Gabe Kapler with the Detroit Tigers. Armando Rios, rookie card for the Giants. And Fernando Sugino with the Montreal Expos. Prospects again. Jason LaRue with the Reds. Matt LaCroix with the Twins. And Mitch Maluski, rookie card for the Astros. Prospects Ruben Mateo. Ruben Mateo with the Texas Rangers. Mike Zawicka, rookie card for the Texas Rangers. And Scott Morgan with the Cleveland Indians. More prospects. Mark Cressand with the Boston Red Sox. Um, Jason Rakers with the Cleveland Indians. And John Rocker, rookie card for the Atlanta Braves. More prospects with two rookies included here. Uh, Michael Bowie with the Atlanta Braves rookie card. Phil Norton with the Chicago Cubs rookie card. And Randy Wolf with the Philadelphia Phillies. Another pros got a bunch of prospects here. Gonna end with the prospects and put that one there because we're getting into some of these. I think that's what we got at the end here is the different inserts within the set. <laughs> if that makes sense. Uh, Marlon Anderson with the Phillies. Ron Bellard with the uh, isn't that the Brewers? Yeah, the Milwaukee Brewers. I don't know where the B is. and, the, and It's probably just the way it's designed, I guess. And then uh, Orlando Cabrera with the Expos. More prospects. Michael Cudger with the Milwaukee Brewers again. Is that? No, that's the Minnesota Twins. Their hats mix me up sometimes. And then Mark DeRosha, rookie card, and with the Atlanta Braves, and Jerry Harrison Jr., rookie card for the Baltimore Orioles. All right, and then our last prospect card, it looks like uh, Carlos Lee with the White Sox, uh, Mike Lowell with the Marlins, and Kit Pello with the Kansas City Royals, rookie card. Okay. Put these in the box and get ready for our last stack here before we go into the family mail call today. Hopefully you guys are enjoying things today. It's definitely different than what we've had in in the recent times, even though there's well, we're back up to five viewing. Seven thumbs up, seven thumbs up. Appreciate that. For those popping into the stream here, Pedro Martinez. With the Boston Red Sox, uh, Strikeout Kings. I think this is a little Strikeout Kings subset here. Um, then we've got uh, Randy Johnson with the Diamondbacks, Strikeout Kings. We've got Kurt Schilling with the Philadelphia Phillies. We've got Kerry Wood with the Chicago Cubs. We've got uh, Roger Clemens with the Yankees. Then we've got our checklist. We've got our checklist card here. These, this is the Series 2 checklists. We do got more prospects. More prospects. Oh, that's weird. They show the Nolan, Nolan Ryan reprint listing all over again. <laughs> um, but on a different checklist card because it's the series too. Um, the rookie card for A.J. Burnett with the Marlins. Bill Koch with the Toronto Blue Jays. I was going to say the Toronto Maple Leafs. That's what it looked like for a second there. Um, and then John Nicholson with the Expos. Another prospect card for Roosevelt Brown with the Cubs. Uh, Darnell Stenson with the Red Sox and Vernon Wells with the Milwaukee, with the Montreal, no, the Toronto Blue Jays. I don't know why I got that wrong second time in a row. Uh, Corey Koski 
and Doug Mikenwitz rookie card for both for the Minnesota Twins and then Damon Miner with the San Francisco Giants. Then we've got some 1998 All Tops pitchers: Roger Clemens, Greg Maddox, and Kerry Wood. Um, all All Tops catchers: Mike Piazza, Ivan Rodriguez, and Jason Kendall. All Tops outfielders: Vladimir Guerrero, Greg Vaughn, and Bernie Williams. All Tops rookies: Travis Lee, Todd Helton, and Van Greve. 98 All Tops designated hitters Frank Thomas, Tim Salmon, and David Justice. All time 1998 All Tops outfielders Barry Bonds, Manny Ramirez, and Larry Walker. All Tops outfielders Sammy Sosa, Ken Griffey Jr., and Juan Gonzalez. All Tops third baseman Vinny Castilla, Chipper Jones, and Scott Rowland. All Top shortstops Alex Rodriguez, Nomar Garcia Para, and Derek Jeter. All Tops First Baseman John Olrud, Jim Thome, and Tino Martinez. All Tops First Baseman Jeff Bagwell, Andres Galarga, and Mark McGuire. Then we got Randy Johnson with the Diamondbacks, Mark Leiter with the Seattle Mariners. Go into. Right, then I think we get into some of the other odd balls, maybe odd cards, draft picks, rookie card, uh, Pat Burrell with the Phillies, and Eric Vallant with the Phillies. Draft picks, rookie cards, Adam Everett with the Boston Red Sox, and Chip Ambrose with the Miami Marlins, or the Florida Marlins, which one were they back here? Doesn't really say on the back. Uh, draft picks, rookie card, Matt Holliday with the Colorado Rockies and Jeff Winchester with the Colorado Rockies. A rookie card, Brad Lidge and Mike Nanini with the Houston Astros. All right, draft picks for the Giants. Rookie card, Nate Bump and Nate Corne Cornejo. Rookie card for the Detroit Tigers. All right. Then we got draft picks for the Cincinnati Reds. Austin Kearns, rookie card. And Chris George, rookie card for the Kansas City Royals. Another draft pick card. Um, rookie card for Matt Belize with the Atlanta Braves. And Matt Rooney with the Colorado Rockies. All right. We get back into our cards here. Bobby Bonilla with the New York Mets. Kevin Brown with the Dodgers. Todd Stottlemyre with the Arizona Diamondbacks. Joey Hamilton with the Toronto Blue Jays. Greg Jeffries with the Detroit Tigers. Uh, Roberto Alomar with the Cleveland Indians. Todd Hundley with the Dodgers. Ken Caminiti with the Astros. Robin Ventura with the Mets, and Devin White with the Dodgers. All right, now we'll get into our last little section. As we get ready to finish this 462-card set here, this one has been fun. It has not been sticking together as much as the last one. Let's see what we got here. We got a home run parade with Sammy Sosa. A home run record for Mark McGuire. A World Series 1998 Mariano Rivera. A World Series 98 Andy Pettit. World Series 98, Scott Brocius, Orlando Hernandez, Tino Martinez, Bernie Williams, uh, Chuck Knobloch, and Ricky Lade. Lade. 
And then next here we've got the uh, League Leaders cards uh, for ERA pitcher Roger Clemens, ERA leaders Greg Maddox, run leaders Derek Jeter shortstop, run leaders Sammy Sosa in the outfield, Alex Rodriguez shortstop hit leader for the Seattle Mariners, hit leaders uh, Dante Bichette outfielder for the Colorado Rockies, RBI leader Juan Gonzalez outfielder for the uh, Rangers, RBI leader Sammy Sosa, outfielder for the Cubs. League leaders, King Griffey Jr. For the Seattle Mariners. I like that one. All right. And then uh, home run leaders, Mark McGuire, first baseman. Bernie Williams, batting average leader for the outfield. And league leaders, batting average Larry Walker for outfield there we have it our 1992 or 1992 1999 baseball card set for tops in its entirety hopefully you guys enjoyed it it is back in the box going to sign sealed and delivered we thank you for participating and viewing 7 watching. Wow, it went up to 7 real quick. I looked up, it jumped down to 5. But that's okay. We got 9 thumbs up, 9 thumbs up in the stream. We are looking good. So let me set this aside for now. That finishes up that part of the program. Now I'll move into phase number 2, family mail call. So definitely enjoying thank you very much thank you very much so next we will get into this package here from empire sports cards and collectibles we will see what this one is for sure I like to just cut off the very edge here to open up oh, where to go Flew the piece flew off somewhere just so I can trim it open because that way down the road, if I can, I can re reuse the bag. Oh, must be too much sticky stuff on here. Yeah. Okay, so I got that. Let me open up and see what I got inside this bag here. I don't see any notes. All I see is some cards wrapped up here. The bag is empty. Throw that off to the side here. And let me get a sip of water real quick. I don't have a clue as to what I got here. I see a Julio Rodriguez there for the Seattle Mariners. But I do not know what's in, in this pack. But hold on a second. I got I to gotta get some air circulating in here a little bit better. I'm going to open up my blind here. Get a little bit, of, little bit more light in the room. There you go. Did that brighten up the table just a little bit? Hopefully. Hopefully it did. But at least, uh, at least the person probably watches my show because I like this here. There's blue tape for sure. Definitely have the the blue tape action going on. I do like that. That means I can. I got some more blue tape for reusing or repurposing. So that is always good. Let me get the the next section off here. Where's okay? Here's the edge of the tape. So Julio Rodriguez. Oh, these, oh, let's see. You know what? I might have bought, bought into a break, but I cannot remember for sure. And since I don't have any other intel on the bag, no notes or anything, um, I'm, I'm kind of mystified. Unless when I get ready to open it. Oh, my word, there's a Kyle Lewis there. 
There's a Kyle Lewis. That makes my day already. Got our up and coming Kyle Lewis on the other side. So I'm hoping maybe these are Seattle Mariners, but I don't know for sure. But we got a Kyle Lewis. Oh, see, he's got his name on her, Don Blomdahl. Donald Blomdahl. These are look like they could it could be a Mariner. A Mariner? Break? I don't remember for sure. I'm like I have a feeling some Seattle Mariners are about to be seen. How do you know that they're left behind? <laughs> Is this a mystery package from from Left Behind? Oh my word. Julio Rodriguez. I like that one. That one is pretty sharp. That's for sure. And I think I definitely... I think me, maybe there must be some, some Seattle Mariners in here. Sorry, I'm, I'm just opening bold bags right now. Because I want to... Oh, there's that other piece. The, the bag that I cut off. Marco Gonzalez. But, oh my word, I like that Kyle Lewis. Sorry, I don't want to ruin any of these other cards here. But I like that sparkly, sparkly, sparkly Kyle Lewis. Rookie card from Panini Prism. My word, I got to get out some, uh, let's see. I got to get out some stands here. I think I'm going to need some stands. Think I'll need some stands there? Left behind. I have a feeling some Seattle Mar Mariners are coming out. Uh, is, did this come from you there, left behind? No, sir, not from me, but some things from me are in the works for. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, well, we'll see what's going on here, but it looks like it's definitely some Seattle Mariners, that's for sure. So let's see. So we got the Kyle Lewis. Let's see, I'm going to make a stack for Kyle Lewis here. Maybe I'll get some of the up-and-coming players here. And let me slide this one out, because this one is uh, definitely a uh, Julio Rodriguez now on deck. The funny thing is, I don't remember getting into a break that was for Seattle Mariners, but maybe, maybe left behind knows who... Uh, Empire Sports Cards and Collectibles is. <laughs> I don't know off the top of my head. But Julio Rodriguez, I will put right here. And then we got another on deck. That looks like... Uh, is that like the same card? An OD-10, an OD-10. That is cool. I have to get those in top loaders. We got a Justin Dunn. Justin Dunn with the Seattle Mariners. Boom, we got another Kyle Lewis here. Another Kyle Lewis Panini Prism. My word. And a Donnie Walton with the Seattle Mariners. He sent me something and I didn't know who it was from at first. Really? From the same same person? Oh, you think it's from Red Rob? Well, I don't, I don't know. I can't remember if he's from New Jersey or not. I don't know for off the top of my head, but Donnie Walton, rookie card. Logan, Will, Logan Gilbert here. Logan Gilbert. Warming in the pen. These are so cool. I do like this style. I'm not a big Panini fan, but I will never pass up Seattle Mariners. Jake Fraley. Jake Fraley, a parallel. Not serialized, but uh, a purple. That's for sure. I guess you'd call it like a purple. Then another Justin Dunn rookie card. There's another Justin Dunn. Uh, Donnie Walton. Donnie Walton, rookie card. 
and then a Logan Gilbert warming in the pen so you got the different variations it looks like warming in the pen then you got another Jake Fraley so we got this Jake Fraley here is the parallel this it looks like it's probably the base identical cards Julio Rodriguez now on deck so I got three of those this is so cool it must have been a break or something Justin Dunn the green parallel my word these are beautiful cards beautiful cards shiny cards yep they're shiny that's right <laughs> all right there we go um i'm gonna put marco right down here uh oh uh oh uh oh you say kikuchi alert you say kikuchi alert that's my rookie i'm collecting from last year and continue through this year my rookie not my well this isn't his rookie year but that is awesome an awesome shiny shiny card justin dunn now i got three different just that's two of the same so that's a justin dunn shiny card a base card a shiny card i'm gonna put the shinier shiny card on top then we got another Kyle Lewis. Another Kyle Lewis. I like that. We got two Kyles now. Kyle Lewis and Kyle Seeger. Both awesome players in my books. Okay. Let me put Kyle Seeger right here. I got to figure out how to display all these cards now. Daniel Vogelback. Daniel Vogelback. My word. I've been flooded with Seattle Mariners. <laughs> Mitch Hanniger. Mitch Hanniger. Mitch Hanniger is now not with us, though. Or wait, no. Mitch Hanniger. I'm trying to remember who was traded recently. Kyle Seeger. There's another Kyle Seeger card. Donnie Walton. Donnie Walton. Purple Parallel. Justin Dunn. There's another Justin Dunn base. And then a Yusei Kikuchi. Another shiny Yusei Kikuchi card. These are so awesome. These are all 2020 Panini. Jake Fraley. Jake Fraley. Another base Jake Fraley. And then a Marco Gonzalez, another base Marco Gonzalez here. And another base Kyle Lewis. Man, too bad I couldn't get the nice shiny Kyle Lewis's. Well, they, they're worth more. <laughs> Beggars can't be choosy. Four base Kyle Lewis's. He's got two home runs so far this year. He's got one on game on day one, one on day two. He's got a couple of hits. He got the game-winning hit yes or the other day, um, but yeah, he's he's been doing pretty good and making some awesome plays in the outfield. That's for sure. So Kyle Lewis, my 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 word, I just got flooded with about twenty Seattle Mariner cards, of which I would have never thought I would have gotten. <laughs> Does anybody know who that is by chance? I mean, it says it's kind of like me with my Hall of Fame veteran sports cards and collectibles. That's I'm going to say that's probably his business address. I tried to look it up, couldn't find anything for sure. But um Empire Sports Cards and Collectibles. So, 30 Clifton Avenue, Unit 2, Clifton, New Jersey. So, if anybody knows who that might be, that would be awesome. Uh, Huber's Cards and More, I'm lurking in the background. No problem there, Huber. All right. So, that was an awesome, awesome set. That's for sure. I do like those, those Yusei Kikuchi 
sparkly cards. The Justin Dunn sparkly card. Uh, we got Mitch Hanniger, Daniel Vogelback, Jake Fraley. Those Jake Fraley's. Donnie Walton. Logan Gilbert. Donnie Walton. Logan Gilbert. Donnie Walton. Have to put these all in order. The Justin Dunn's. A bunch of Justin Dunn's. The four bases, the green, and the sparkly. You can see the sparkle in those. My word. Awesome, awesome, awesome cards. That now on deck, Julio Rodriguez's. Can't remember if it was Hugh, Julio Rodriguez. I can't remember if he made it or got sent back in the reserve team that's practicing in Tacoma. But, uh... Kyle Lewis, nonetheless, did get the one super sparkly Kyle Lewis, that's for sure, in the top loader, and the three bases. So Kyle Lewis is awesome there. Julio Rodriguez. Boom. So we need to leave the stands up here because now we're going to open up, it looks like, a hanger box. We've got five people watching, so that gives us the hanger box level for what to watch. If I showed shiny cards at your funeral, you would wake from the dead. <laughs> That's cute there, you were. That's cute. I don't know about that. Okay, let me go over to my, my box of goodies and grab out my first hanger box. Let me go over to my box of goodies here and grab a hanger box. Okay. All right. I've got our picked up a couple of these yesterday, so we're going to open us up a hanger box. This is my first time opening up a hanger box. I don't know for sure what the two exclusive Empire State Award winner cards inside are. But I guess I will see. These are from Walmart. Cooperstown Collection. Um, I don't know. But the, this is the, the odds of when you get these. See if I can get it to focus. Uh, 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 maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, there we go. So there's our odds if you do want to freeze frame it for any reason to look at those. Does anybody know of uh, anybody that's gotten a golden ticket yet? It's one out of 38,861 products. So they're not too common, but cool nonetheless. So let's, uh, I think the best way is to probably open from the top or the bottom. I think it's the bottom. We'll find out, and if I'm wrong, I'll do it right the next time. Let's get the Robert. <laughs> oh, that'd be, that'd be fine if I did get a Robert. Okay, yep, I did open the right end of the box, that's for sure. There we go. That'd be cool if I opened it and it was the top card. I wouldn't even want to open up the rest of the pack and just leave it like that. some that's for sure but that's what we would like to find this one right here the lewis robert here i'll put it right here for now how's that sound can you guys see it over there sure you can see it over there or maybe you can see it here or maybe you can see it here we'll play musical stands or maybe you can see it here no i'll leave it here 
<laughs> no, wait a minute. That's a little too far. Let me move it up here. And move this up here. Move that right there. And move this one right here. How's that sound? You can see the top of the Lewis Robert now card now, can't you? Of course you can. So we're going to open up this and see what we can find. Let's see if I can put another Robert up with... Uh, let me. I want to put his twin brother up there, okay? But we will go through this stack here and see what we can find in my first hanger box opening. Okay? So let's put this stack right down. Actually, no, I can hold a whole stack. It's only what? How many cards are in the box? How many cards are in the box? I put it away. 67? Is it 67 cards? Yeah, 67 cards in a hanger box. Sorry, right, let me... Uh, 67 cards in a hanger box. Well, there we go. We'll put, we'll put Mike Trout in the background. He's keeping an eye on us with the 67 cards. And let's see what we can find in here, okay? Of course, we got an Andrew McCutcheon with the Phillies. We got a Marcus Stroman with the New York Mets. We've got a Martin Perez with the Boston Red Sox. We've got a Jose Asuna with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Gio Urshela with the Yankees. We got a Louis Rangifo with the Angels. A Steven Duggar with the San Francisco Giants. Renato Nunez with the Baltimore Orioles. We've got the Ryan Zimmerman with the Washington Nationals. We've got the Harold Castro with the Tigers. Kelvin Herrera with the White Sox. That's weird. No rookie card. Oh, as soon as I say it, no rookie cards. There's our first rookie card. Tyrone Taylor with the Milwaukee Brewers rookie card. Put the rookie cards right up here for now. All right. Steven Voigt with the Arizona Diamondbacks. Lucas Sims with the Reds. All right. Let me flip these guys over real quick. I don't see any thick card inside there. Charlie Morton. Charlie Morton with the Tampa Bay Rays. Stephen Brault with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Christian Walker with the Arizona Diamondbacks. Walker Bueller with the Dodgers. Uh, Alex Cobb with the Orioles. Oh, let me move these this way real quick. I'm going to put Robert right over here in case we get a hit. That way you guys can still see Robert off to the side here. Uh, Cincinnati Reds team card. San Francisco Giants team card. Revved up. Eaton Kendrick shift gears. There we go. Jonathan Hernandez rookie card for the Texas Rangers. Uh, Jack Mayfield with the Houston Astros rookie card. Uh, Drew Steckenrider with the Miami Marlins. Ravned Odor with the Texas Rangers. Jonathan Daza with the Colorado Rockies rookie card. Then we've got Nick Anderson with the Tampa Bay Rays Gold Cup card. Uh, Johan Camargo with the Atlanta Braves. Hey there, Sam Sports Shop. You back in and you finish walking the dog? <laughs> Pittsburgh Pirates team card. Oh, is D Diaz with the Pirates now? Is that Edwin Diaz, I wonder? I think he... Did, they, did the Mets trade him to the Pittsburgh Pirates? South Side Swag with Jimenez Anderson celebrate a home run. Toronto Blue Jays team card. James Karnacek with the Indians rookie card. Um, Kevin Gaussman with the Giants. John Birdie with the Marlins. Uh, 
Chad Pender with the Athletics. Jake Fraley, rookie card for the Seattle Mariners. All right. Uh, Michael Wat Watcha with the Mets. Uh, Dakota Hudson with a future star for the Cardinals. All right. Scoots those up a little bit, make a little bit more room. Pablo Lopez with the Miami Marlins. Jonas Cespedes with the New York Mets. Uh, Daniel Norris with the Tigers. Franklin Barreto with the Athletics. Uh, Joe Jimenez with the Detroit Tigers. Jose or Joe Ross with the Washington Nationals. Tyler Molle with the Reds. Ray Baruki with the Blue Jays. Lou Trevino with the Athletics. Uh, Dylan Bundy with the Angels. Eugenio Suarez with the Reds. Ryan McMahon with the Colorado Rockies. Bruce Dargatterall with the Dodgers rookie card. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, Michael Taylor with the Nationals. There we go. Victor Robles Gold Cup card. Let me get a sip of water. <clears throat> All right. Victor Robles Gold Cup card. Jose Altuve with the Astros. Elvis Andrus with the Rangers. Tony Walters with the Colorado Rockies. There we go. Our tops now set. I already got my tops now set complete for the Series 2. So I've got a set of Series 1 and Series 2 tops now product reprints. David Price and Mookie Betts. Boom. We got a rainbow foil card. Elvis Andrus. I'm pretty sure I got that one, but I'll double check that one for that. Oh, that's right. These are the Empire State Award winners. Life Begins at 40, Pete Alonzo. Okay, so that's the Pete Alonzo insert cards is what they call the Empire State winners. So you get two of the Pete Alonzo cards in this set, huh? Guess there's a, I guess I'll have to find out how big that set is. Uh, alone at the top. Okay, and we got a war card here of 9.4 for Alex Rodriguez. We got a Chris Bryant all-star card for the National League. And then I think we, I think you get four turkey cards in each one of these, don't you? So we got our turkey cards coming up next here. We'll put all the turkey cards right there. So all your hits come in the bottom of the pack which is kind of nice. That way you go through all the base cards. Of course, you want to check through just in case you end up with a short print. Or, I mean, a variation type card. card. Um, so you just look at the backs on the bottoms. Look for the serial numbers. So in case you're wondering, for the 2020 Series 2, your base cards are 099, your SPs are 115, your S SPs are 116 and your SSSPs are 117. Just to let you know. So you got Munoz with San Diego rookie card. You got um, Noose Oakland rookie card. Uh, Rogers with Detroit rookie card. And Giolito with Chicago base card so those are our turkey red cards for that set and that box so no Lewis Robert but I do have one so I could show you what the Lewis Robert one is we're looking for he is card number 392 I do have him in my complete set I can't remember for sure if I have a Lewis Robert uh, full card yet or not. I don't know for sure if I do. Let me look real quick. I don't think I do yet. Nope, that is
is the full card I am looking for still. A Lewis Robert. Of course, I'm looking for a lot of foil cards. When I get it narrowed down to where I don't have as many that I need, I'll probably post up a listing on my community tab so you guys know which foil cards I'm looking for to complete my set. But other than that, yeah, when, you, when you're when done, sometimes they'll, they'll slide in some short print cards. You never do know for sure. But you always want to check on the backs. You can see the little print on the bottom there if I can get it to focus there we go you see the 099 go through on the back of all your cards and see if you have either the the um, 115 116 or 117 for the short print cards I mean a lot of times you'll notice the picture sometimes but sometimes you might surprise yourself and there might be a variation card. One of the other variations, the numbered tr cards, you can check real quick because you can go through and just look right here because the numbers, serial numbers are usually right there. Okay. So you can see if you have any short prints for sure by just a quick scan that way on the bigger number, which we don't have anything there. But sometimes you can find them there. I've found them. Uh... But then as a double check, just check your bottom numbers on the bottom of the cards here. So the 099 says it's the base card. But just so you do know, there are base variations. So pay attention to the colors here on the right hand side. You can see different colors there. Um, these full cards are just a variation card. It does not say that on the bottom it'll show up as a 99. You can see this is a 099 card, but if you look on the front, it is a variation of the base card. So it's not as short a print as a short print, an SP, SSP, or an SSSP. Jake M. Hey, I was sent here by Danny Solly. Loves baseball cards. That is cool. Thanks for popping in here, Jake. Appreciate you being here. Appreciate you popping into the stream here. At the last minute, we got seven watching. We're getting ready to end for the day here. I'll do my signature sign-off here in a second. Um... that I did get in my channel. Of course, we went through the baseball card set. The 1999 top set was the main thrust of our programming today. And I did go through a family mail call package. So let me set these off to the side real quick here. I'm going to put this stack right in front of Robert here. Lewis Robert. Okay. So I can go through and highlight these real quick here. These were some of the, the Panini Prism products I got in my family mail call package, which I had no idea I was getting. So uh, this was something sent to me in a from a channel member. So this is Yusei Kikuchi, along with a whole bunch of others here. I'm going to set these down so I can just go through and highlight. I got two Yusei Kikuchis. Love those sparkly cards, that's for sure. And then uh, Kyle, uh, two Kyle Seegers, uh, Marcos Gonzalez, one Daniel Vogelback, one Mitch Hanniger, uh, two Jake Fraley's, uh, a Parallel Purple Jake Fraley, a Donnie Walton, uh, Logan Gilbert, uh, another Donnie Walton. Got to put that Donnie Walton together there. Then another Logan Gilbert warming up in the pen. A Donnie Walton. A Justin Dunn. A Justin Dunn Green Parallel. None of these are serialized, but that's fine. 
I just appreciate getting the Seattle Mariner cards. Justin Dunn. Got one, two, three, four Justin Dunn's there. A Julio Rodriguez. Got two of those. I got four Kyle Lewis's. Three of the bases. Oops, 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 oops. Three of the bases. Uh, oh, that's right. And the other one's on the bottom. Kyle Seeger here. Parallel. And then a Kyle Lewis shiny card. A shiny parallel. And the Julio Rodriguez on deck now. So that was an awesome family mail call package from somebody called empire sports cards and collectibles from clifton new jersey that's pretty cool too that's from new jersey that's where i grew up as a kid in new jersey all right and then i don't know if i can slide this on here but i'll set this right here and the spot right here um let's see i can probably put the little edge right here hold on i let's see i can go over here a little bit with this still have them in the picture put that back there put these guys up here so I can slide that right there this was our tops 1999 uh, set that we went through so boom that pretty much covers everything that we did today and again unless there's somebody in here at the last minute that would want to um, purchase a mystery pack that would be the only thing left to do today before I do sign off. But I'll just show this here real quick. Um, red, white, and blue mystery packs. Um, series 1 Summer Edition. For today through Saturday only. I'm running a special. $25 per mystery pack. With a $5 flat shipping. No matter how you do. All you have to do is you can choose one. I'll go over that in a minute here. You just send me a PayPal payment for $30 to KJV Royal Baptist at AOL.com and then I will get you on here so pretty much just so you do have the information for those that might not have been here before um, in each mystery pack you will get a graded card an autograph card a relic or patch or medallion card a 2020 rainbow fall card a 2020 USA baseball card two rookies um, one SP or serialized or insert card, five Hall of Fame player cards, five cards from the 2000 era, five cards from the 80s through 90s, junk wax era, and five cards from the 1950s to 1979s. Okay, which is the 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 latter vintage age era cards. Okay, there were three hot packs when I started this series. There are once still one hot pack left that has 33 cards in it. All right, and packs with a checklist only for the live openings. If you get a checklist, you would get a bonus graded card from a limited choice. And just so you do know, for those that did not know earlier, um, if you there there are two big 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 slab cards in here got a Ken Griffey Jr. number one rookie card for Ken Griffey Jr. graded inside one of the mystery packs and a Cal Ripken Jr. also in the mystery packs those have not been picked yet so this is the listing of the packs that are still open you can see the ones that have been open the reason the names are on there um, who got the others hot pack I, I can't remember for sure off the top of my head there, uh, Robert. I'd have to go back and look through my videos from the 4th of July and stuff. I can't remember off the top of my head exactly. But I thought all mine were hot ones. I <laughs> laugh out loud. <laughs> you might have got one of the hot ones. I can't remember for sure, Robert. I think you, you bought three packs from me, right? So, um, but yeah, so between now and Saturday, and once Saturday hits, whatever packs are not sold, I will be making a listing for eBay, but the packs will probably be between $35 and $40, is my guess, because then I'll have to uh, recoup the cost on the penny, the, the card savers that will be going out in, in the mystery packs. 
or I could repackage them. We'll see what happens with that one. I'll, I'll kind of figure it out as I go along. So other than that, that's all I really have for today. I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up for today. I'm going to go ahead and get ready to save my, my signature sign-off. And we will continue tomorrow with um, our baseball team. I'm pretty sure, I'm almost positive, it's going to be the Detroit Tigers tomorrow. We'll de do the Detroit Tigers for our baseball series tomorrow. For our baseball team. And then Hall of Fame Fridays this week will be... Do a drum roll real quick here. Will be our 1954 Hall of Famers, which will be Bill Dickey, Rabbit Moranville, and Bill Terry. Will be our three Hall of Famers for this Friday. And then Saturday will be my mystery pack sale. So if you do want to sign up for a mystery pack, all you have to do is let me know. No obligation. And then on that, I'm thinking about a pack. 33 done can you save that one for me uh let me see 33 yes 33 will be a blue one you want a blue the, that blue one robert i can mark you down for it i'm thinking about pack 33 can you save that one for okay that's fine yeah no obligation robert you know if if it doesn't sell it does not hurt my feelings whatsoever just um i will mark you down reserved for saturday i just want to do it now so i don't forget because then i would be really mad if somebody else got it Okay. All right, Robert, just so you do know, I have a feeling that Griffey is in that pack. Okay. There you go. You have number 33 reserved, the blue. Okay, Robert Posada. Okay. So that is reserved. So nobody can pick that one until Saturday. And then the only way would be is if it doesn't end up being paid for. But that's fine. All right. So... But you will have it throughout the whole stream, and I would wait till the very end if you decided you still wanted to get it or not, okay? You have a feeling that Griffey, Ken Griffey is in that pack. <laughs> no problem. You're welcome there, Robert. So again, if you happen to mention, if you, if you guys, I know there's just a few people here, but if you guys go to other streams, just if they allow you to mention... Uh, my mystery pack sale on Saturday that would be super super awesome but if not that's fine too um, either way whether I sell them or not I'll I, I'm sure I would probably get them sold on eBay because I'm gonna in the description of the eBay listing will list what they can get and what is still eligible to be drawn so number 33 that one is reserved for you Robert I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera around real quick and do my signature goodbye. Like I normally do. Okay. So there's my t-shirt. You can see that real quick. That's my t-shirt. My Topps baseball card set for my series that I'm doing on Wednesdays. And so until then, until tomorrow, when we continue on with the Detroit Tigers, uh... team history <laughs> no, senior moment that's my old syndrome showing up um that's what we'll do tomorrow so until then this has been donald bomba hall of fame veterans sports cards and collectibles having been live to you from arlington washington you guys have a wonderful and awesome day and We'll be seeing you guys around the channels, okay? Take care. Lord bless you, and have a blessed day and a blessed week coming up. Take care now. Bye now.